Morning everybody, this is Rima Desai for our daily mindfulness series. So today we are going to finish our eye exercises. I want you to know that it's important for you to look at the first two eye exercises from day, day, seven, day eight and day seven, and that'll give you the ground basics. But just in short, if you have any eye conditions, it's important to ask your doctor before you do these exercises. And it's okay for children to do this as long as you have the Levi from your doctor. So after doing the first two days, the basic eye exercises today, let's finish them. Today we're not gonna be using our hands. All we're gonna do is we're gonna be using our eyes only, no moving your neck or your face at all. So I want you to first look at me and after that we'll follow along together. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna lift my eyes on the top and then I'm going to make a circular motion with my eyes as far out as I can go in an imaginary circle. And then I'm going to reverse the direction. Okay, so look at me first. Uh, watch me do it. Let me come closer if that helps. I'm going to look up and then moving just in an imaginary circle, in a continuous circle. And know that I'm not going overly fast just a medium pace and I've reached my starting point so I'm going to reverse the direction now it's okay to blink in between but not do your best not to blink during the exercise if you absolutely have to then yes please do that so there I finished my circle in both directions okay so uh, once again if you're joining in you need to see the start of this video on how I'm doing the eye exercises today because we're not using any props we're not using our hands so join in with me. We are going to only move our eyes. We're not moving our face or our neck. So lift your eyes up. And then in an imaginary continuous circle, we're gonna start slowly moving our eyes as far out as we can, as if we are drawing a circle with our eyes. And then once you reach your starting point, you may blink your eyes and then begin in the reverse direction. It might feel that your eyes are feeling watery or you can sense that they are stretched out. You want to know that your eyes shouldn't be stretched out to the point of a lot of discomfort. There should be some discomfort because we're exercising the muscle, but it shouldn't feel painful at all. So if it is, then you're stretching too far and please do not harm yourself at all. It's very sensitive uh, that we use our eyes. It's very important that we use our eyes uh, in the appropriate fashion, right? If you feel like you just want to dab your eyes and close them and now we can go to the next and then open them again we're going to go to the next one in this we are again going to lift our eyes but we're going to lift them in the diagonal fashion up there and then we're going to make an imaginary diagonal line down and then we'll jump our eyes up in the other direction and make the other imaginary line down so we're making an imaginary x with our eyes so watch me first watch me do it I'm lifting my eyes to the right diagonal corner as far out as I can see, not to the point of pain, but just, just a little bit of discomfort, just to stretch my muscles. And now I'm going to slowly make an imaginary slant line. Do your best, to the best of your ability. And once I reach that diagonal bottom, I'm going to jump my eyes up to the other corner, which is my left corner right now. And now I'm going to complete the letter X with an imaginary line. And that's it, that is our eye exercise. So let's do this again together, making the imaginary X with our eyes. Let's begin, jump your eyes to the right diagonal corner, and then make an imaginary line, diagonal line down to the other corner, as if you're making the first line for X. Then jump your eyes to the left diagonal corner as far out as you can, and complete the letter, imaginary letter X with your eyes. And when you're done, just come back to your normal vision. It's looking in the center. So before we do our eye clean, like eye cooling exercises, where I'm going to show you once again, very quickly, all the exercises that we have done. And when you do this together, if you have enough time, you can do these exercises, eye exercises, each one about five times if you have the time, otherwise at least once in the whole series together, okay, all of them together. So the first one, in the first one, I put my thumb out in my, um, at the nose level. 
arm is straight and now I'm going to bring my thumb while looking at the tip of my thumb with only my eyes, not moving my face. I'm going to slowly, very slowly bring my thumb to the tip of my nose and keep looking at that tip even though my eyes might feel watery and if you can't just keep them open then it's okay to blink like I'm doing. And then after five or ten seconds, whatever you're comfortable with, you're going to slowly begin to bring your thumb back out, constantly looking at the tip of the thumb and blinking your eyes when you feel it's absolutely necessary. The next one, I have to go further back. I'm going to move my thumb up, as far up as I can. There is more instruction if you look at the videos for each of these eye exercises, but I'm just walking you through in short. Then you turn your thumb down and you let it stretch as further down as you can, only tracking with your eyes, not moving your face or your neck. And then you pause at each station for five or 10 seconds. When you're done, you turn, turn your thumb up again and bring it back to the center. Um, I also forgot to tell you that in the day one of eye exercises, which is day seven of mindfulness video, we also did the going sideways with our thumb. So you can watch that using both our hands. And then the last ones that we did today was making the circle in both direction, an imaginary circle with your eyes, and then making the imaginary letter X. Okay. After we're done with this, we should always do cooling exercises. So today I'm going to culminate. I'm going to show you all the cooling exercises. That is a must do. You cannot just get up and uh, start doing your things until you finish your cooling exercises for the eyes. So we're going to rub our palms about five to seven times and then we're going to make a cup and then cup them over our just around the circumference of our eyes. Okay. There should be some warmth in your just not heat but just some warmth in your palm and just giving the eyes uh, your this darkness means stopping any kind of stimulus, light, as much as possible from going into the eyes will allow it to rest. We're going to keep this for 30 seconds. Thirty seconds is after the full range of exercises. If you've only done a few exercises then you may hold it for 15 to 20 seconds. Now know that this is a great time for you to be in silence when you're doing it on your own. It can be 30 seconds of quick, very quick mini meditation as well. Just bringing your attention to your breathing. And then after 30 seconds, I'm opening my eyes. So open your eyes. And now we're going to make, give, use pressure points around the eyes. So we're going to use our first two fingers and make pressure circle. So we're going to make a circle massage the outskirts outside of our eyes in a circular motion starting from the middle of the nose and coming back like finishing that circle. So watch me do it and follow along and we will do this five times. So this was one circle. Now this is the second circle. You're going in one direction and then the other direction as well. That both the directions together make one full circle. This is the third circle. Now the fourth, and then finally the fifth circle. So where I'm going to stop. Same thing, we're going to make a circle now, except for that we're going to be tapping around our eyes. So this is one, two, just tapping up, starting from the middle of the nose, above the eyebrows, and then the outside of, and the bottom of the eyes, three, it feels very relaxing. Four, five, perfect. Now we're going to take three fingers, like the thumb and the first two fingers, and we're going to be massaging our forehead. So that'll just activate if you have any headaches. And if it feels worse doing this massage, then please don't do it. But in general, without a headache, this should feel very relaxing because we think so much and uh, we hold a lot of our thoughts in our forebrain so we want to just relax these muscles out. You're going to do this five times, just massage it by going front and back, applying some pressure. And then the last, uh, we are going to 
just rub our cheeks. We just used to do this. Like, I think that just felt good. Just like a little massage to your face. This is not for the eyes as much as just for your face. Yeah, this feels good. And if you feel like doing, like, you can just give a little massage even, like, in this manner. And then um, this is excellent because we, for, for our eyes, because we've been on the screen so much. Like, my work... In general, my business just does involve a lot of screen time, but not a lot, but like about two hours a day or sometimes even lesser than that. But my work per se has no screen time. And now that I'm working virtually, I'm on the screen eight to 10 hours a day. It's crazy. I don't feel good at all. My eyes feel tired all the time. Another great thing to do is to splash cold water five to six times, cold water over your eyes. You can even take a cup of water or you can cup your hands and fill it with water and open your eyes just keep your open eye just on one eye like keep it open and allow that cold water to fill your eyes again provided that you don't have any eye conditions and your doctor is okay with you doing this this is very yogic these are yogic eye exercises so traditional medicine may not know these but it will make you feel you will be able to sense the heat that the water is pulling out from our eyes and it will be an eye opener it's very insightful when i do that uh, just for about 10 seconds if you can hold it for longer that's great uh, just alternating both the eyes just once a day uh, and it's okay to blink if you feel the need to it's best if you don't while you're holding it for 10 seconds or, or more on um, the cold water then you will feel such a deep sense of relaxed eyes like that relief and the cooling effect on your eyes will be amazing and obviously all of us know you can chop cucumber slices round cucumber slices and cup put them over your eyes and maybe what my daughter makes me do is uh, she's just 10 but she gives me these therapy sessions she um, takes a warm towel we take a warm soft napkin and then we put it over our face all around our face and then we put the cucumber slices and then we lay our, raise our legs up on furniture and relax on the carpet. It's very relaxing and very therapeutic. And we don't realize how much we're using our body every day and our mind. And just to give it this five minute of break a day is like uh, doing it, right? It's like making it happy. So thank you for watching. Tomorrow, we will uh, give me a suggestion. What would you like to do? Would you like to do a yoga pose, breathing, pranayam, or just uh, emotional habits? Just uh, talk on some healthy emotional habits that you can apply at this time. But my idea is to do some pranayam or some emotional habits talk. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, okay? This is Rima Desai. I'm a transformational life coach, a counseling psychologist, uh, also a tutor and a special education para. I work with children from all of all different abilities. I specialize in autism and preschool children. I tutor them a lot uh, with so many different services. And I help women virtually around the world by doing readings, oracle readings, astrology readings, uh, hypnotherapy, life coaching sessions. And I absolutely love empowering people by teaching them mindfulness and better emotional habits. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.